always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Well, we saw a little bit of sunshine to close out the day yesterday and to open up today. Unfortunately, clouds are streaming back into West Michigan. Here's a look at Holland Boat Works where you see the flags moving around. That's been perhaps the biggest focus of the weather so far this morning. So it's very windy and that has multiple implications on how our weather is expected to play out through the day. So the first and most uh, significant is that our drizzle and fog risk appears to be trending lower due to that wind kind of stirring up the atmosphere. Light rain showers will still be possible today into tonight and tomorrow. It's still looking very warm to close out 2022 and begin 2023. As I mentioned, wind steady out of the south at about 15 to 25 miles per hour, 22 miles per hour in Allegan, 19 miles per hour in Holland, and 17 miles per hour here in Grand Rapids. Winds occasionally gusting close to 30 to 40 miles per hour in spots. So again, very breezy out there. In fact, even in Grand Rapids, we're gusting close to 30 miles per hour. So. Again, that's uh, stirring up the atmosphere, going to make it hard for any fog to develop, including uh, drizzle. Now, that's not to say either can happen, but we're not expecting it to be as widespread as it was once looking. In fact, wind gust future cast seems to be downplaying the wind through the day today. So regardless, it does stay somewhat breezy into the day tomorrow. The biggest thing you'll notice is that winds shift out of the west for a time, and the wind does taper off for us a bit heading into New Year's weekend. That becomes a lot more manageable. 47 degrees in Grand Rapids, 49 in Hastings, 47 in Kalamazoo. We're at 51 in Holland, 52 in Benton Harbor, and 53 in South Haven. So it's a very warm day. We do have a cold front that's stretching off to our north that should be moving through the Great Lakes, but that's not going to cool us off very much. We're not talking temperatures in the teens. In fact, we're talking likely temperatures in the 30s, which says something about the pattern we're in when a cold front drops us down in the 30s. Storm Track Live shows that cloud cover extending across a good portion of West Michigan. Uh, again, some sun trying to peek out in other parts, but for the most part, that cloud cover is increasing, and uh, that's going to continue to cloud us up here through the day today. Here's a look at downtown Grand Rapids. No sun to be found here, and the same thing in Allendale, where clouds have ruled the day, and that wind continues to gust. Uh, future cast through the day shows winds out of the south. Again, chance for some drizzle or mist. Again, the chance seems to be trending lower. We do have the chance for light rain showers into Friday. And then the best chance for showers on Friday is going to be southeast of uh, uh, Battle Creek, I-69, let's call it. That continues into the day on Saturday. And we can see a little more widespread rain late Saturday into Sunday. But at this point, again, it seems to be trending off to our southeast. We'll just be cloudy with some chances for occasional light rain. Your forecast for the afternoon shows the chance for some light pockets of drizzle or light rain. Otherwise, it's going to be breezy with temperatures holding steady in the upper 40s. It continues to look warm and it continues to look wet for us into the new year, which means rain chances will likely continue. Your eight-day forecast shows high temperatures in the upper 40s tomorrow. But we'll see those temperatures fall through the days. That cold front comes through down to the 30s by the evening commute and no major cool down in sight besides the end of next week or we'll be down in the mid 30s but hard to believe this time of year that we continue to see uh, temperatures this warm average this time of year is 33 and every high temperature in the next eight days is above that tom i can hear the water trickling off the roof in the studio right now blake <laughs> all our snowpack <laughs> gonna be gone that's right all right thanks blake